<laughs> Good evening, everyone, and happy Thirsty Thursday, September 8th, 2022. Um, I'm at a friend's house um, awaiting her to get off of work. Um, I had a rough, a really rough day um, waking up. I've been awake since 3 a.m. with massive chest pain. The head pain finally, finally diminished. Um, my pulse skyrocketed this morning in the 90s, high 90s. It's so I, um, and my blood pressure was pretty high as well. So I, um, by the grace of God, <laughs> I, um, uh, without, without having cell service, I just got, I got in, um, got in the Jeep after I had to have it jumped again and, uh, went over to O'Reilly's. Thank you to all those angels at O'Reilly's truly. I'm probably going to get choked up again. And you know who you are. Including the photographer that took pictures of me and two, two members of the O'Reilly staff that went above and beyond to help me. I can't thank you enough for getting me back on the road. Um, they ran a test on my alternator and other stuff and everything checked out, but my battery was dead. It was bad. So by the grace of God, I had prior to arriving in Elkhart, I had gotten a, a text message from the uh, business owner, Dan Phillips, um, that a check that he had sent for payment for the sale of my practice was returned. And it was more than enough to cover a brand new battery and then some. So I was able to get a brand new battery and O'Reilly's installed it for me. Um, they also, I also got um, two uh, replacement um, light bulbs uh, because my turn signals I mean they were working but they weren't working so they replaced them both we still have a, a small little hiccup with a parking light on the driver's side but at least the turn signals are all working headlights are working as well so um, I'm gonna have to see if 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 one of my peeps can help with that little small little hookup and I'm going to call it a small little hookup because it can't be anything. It shouldn't be anything major, hopefully. Anywho, so um, it was amazing as soon as that new battery was installed and I fired up Bianca 007, she purred like a kitten. So I, um, I started driving. Um, I stopped at a car wash to give Bianca a bath because <laughs> She hasn't had a bath in quite a while, um, and she was in she was in in need. It was it, she was filthy, <laughs> so she's not perfect, but she is a lot better shape, <laughs> including the rims that looked <laughs> they didn't even look shiny anymore. <laughs> they were just so filthy, dirty. So that I I just started driving to Goshen, and since I didn't have internet service and my cell phone is suspended. I just decided to let him lead the way. Got out to County Road 17, turned left on East Jackson, took it out to, I believe it was 15, started headed to Goshen, more into Goshen. And uh, lo and behold, I came across the street that my girlfriend lives on, had to do it, had to turn around. In fact, I found a really cool, a really cool road with some houses called Woodstock. That was pretty cool. Looks like a really neat 
community, little subdivision type thing in the middle of the country. So I um, turned around and started driving and was driving the right direction to my girlfriend's house and drove straight here. Well, preface that with there was a car behind me when I, when I reached her address. So I had to go back, go past one, one house to turn around and come back. The quiet, the still, it's, it's like being in the Florida Keys right now where I'm at. And it is exactly what the doctor ordered, that doctor. And um, Hannah Grace ran around because she loves the country. I mean, we left Green Acres to go to the Florida Keys. So she, she's just in heaven being out here. So I can't thank my girlfriend enough for opening her home to us. And um, I have another brother from another mother that he's opened his home to us as well. So we'll head there next. But just to be out here, um, have some leftover volcano. Kelly, thank you for everything. You know, it's truly amazing how when, when you're homeless, how you appreciate the simple things in life that so many people take for granted. And my friend Raphael, who was one of my drivers when I was in the Florida Keys, and by the grace of God, he was an angel when last April, not this past April, but a year ago, April, when I went on my first medical seeking trip for answers to get me to where I am today. I took the seventh neurologist and a holistic doctor and a tooth genie to get me back on track. Um, my body does not process pharmaceuticals. It never has. I'm still, I'm still trying to recover from my, my, my arm and I've got more of the poisons coming out of my feet. Um, but it took the holistic doctor and the tooth genie to, to discover what traditional medicine and traditional science couldn't see. So, to come back to my hometown and feel the darkness, feel the hardened hearts, um, it, 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 it's amazing what it did to my blood pressure. When my blood pressure is 106 over 60, whatever, and that's where it's been. So it's still elevated. It's still up over 30 points. So, but it, at least according to man, it's not that, it's not considered that high when it's 138 over 87 right now. And to me, I don't even feel that number. I don't feel at all excited or whatnot. Um, but traditional medicine is missing the boat. It's a tunnel vision I've never seen before. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward to compiling all my medical records so I can, I can show proof of my own journey, pharmaceuticals versus holistic and the differences in my, all my blood work um, that I'm still standing and still fighting. Um, no one can, can even understand the magnitude of it. And when, when one of my one of my high school friends, Tanya Clip, stopped yesterday and showered me with some some holistic antidotes that are all natural. Want me to try? And uh, I took a quarter of what was suggested um, to see how that fares because I don't do caffeine and it's a natural caffeine 
um, from the plant source, I believe is how she described it. Um, I just have to be careful because I do not need caffeine in my life. Um, it had gone to a toxic level when I had arrived in the Florida Keys last April and I couldn't have it. And anytime I ever had it, I really noticed a huge impact on my health. So I just eliminated it immediately from my diet when my doctor said, you know, it's gone to a toxic level. Tea's gone to a toxic level. So I immediately switched to decaf. And I mean, honestly, mainly what I was drinking was water. Um, I drink a lot of juice now to help to help cleanse, to help nourish my body, and then any excess of the vitamins that I'm ingesting are eliminated with waste. Unlike, unlike the artificially manufactured poisons from traditional medicine. I mean, I had to I had to lance open my arm because my arm had swoll it was so swollen after Halifax and Daytona Beach from their baby aspirin from nitroglycerin and I don't even know what else, whatever else it had a, it wanted out of my body and the only way to get it out was to lance it and then soak it multiple times in Epsom salt. I soaked it in a in, in baths of that Epsom salt and wrapped it in dry Epsom salt to pull to pull the poisons out of my body. And my arm is still kind of like indentation. It's still it's still not quite right. It's definitely better than it was. Um but it's like it it almost looked like bite marks on my arm. So um, the angels on my path have been incredible and people don't understand why I did what I did, but I had to come home. I had to get my records because none of the facilities would send them to me. None of them, except for Dr. Bowling's office. So my primary physician that's here in Indiana um, I haven't contacted yet because I've just been, this, this, this trip has wore me completely out. Um, but tomorrow I'm going to call and make an appointment so that I can go in and see him <clears throat> so he can see how far I've gone with the holistic medicine. He's going to be amazed when he sees me and I'm hopeful by then my blood pressure will be back down to its normal that I've been living with and I've been charting for this last 104 bonus days. Um, once I started this journey on August 26th, coming back here, I, um, I stopped charting it. The only time that I had any record of it was when I'd stop at a Walmart to use their Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi and um, see where my numbers fared and pretty much the whole way here it was 120 over 80 or within that realm so according to man according to man's handy dandy charts that's that's the normal the normal range or so they say my body runs way better when it's at 106 personally I think everybody's body has their own needs. Um, I just think that you have to know your body. You have to know how it's ticking in order to seek the medical um, assistance that your temple needs. Um, I've always worked out. Um, I've always kept an eye on what I ingest. I've always been a healthy little eater. Um, so it's, it's, it's really interesting to see how that has fared. And 
to those naysayers out there, you know, what were you thinking driving without money? Well, you know what? How many, just because I don't have a church, I've committed to my ministry, you know, so I don't have a church with rules and regulations and borders because I rely on my Bible for my answers. And to realize the magnitude of my saltiness being almost non-existent and our bodies do not function without salt spoke volumes to me, you know, knowing that I'm still afloat with the, all of the symptoms of end of days, all of the symptoms of congestive heart failure. Yet he keeps still holding on to my hand and leading the way. So you that think that, you know, how dare I get in my car and drive? Well, what would be the alternative? As sick as I am, I had no choice. I had to do what I felt was right and come back home to a city with a heart to find those that could reciprocate. And how my phone just sang that hallelujah chorus when I am not connected up to my girlfriend's Wi-Fi, I will never know. It's him. It is him. Despite what people want to say. You know, and if you've said some negative comment, I just freaking delete you. Because frankly, there's enough darkness in this world. And we are out spreading our lamp oils. And if you think your negative darkness is welcomed, well, think again. Because I'll whack that mole right back to H-E double toothpicks where it belongs. Because frankly, I have said when. From all the nonsense. From you people out there that continue to want to inflict harm on others that are risking their life to spread their lamp oils. Shame on you for pointing the finger at us that are trying to make a difference and bringing people closer to Jesus and to our Heavenly Father, our Creator God. Just saying. You know, what are you doing to help this darkened, God-forsaken world? but attacking those of us that are spreading our lamp oils, that are bringing people closer to Jesus. What are you doing besides putting on your boxing gloves and trying to hurt all of us? You think about that the next time you open up your trap and pass judgment on us, again, that are risking our lives for yours, your, great, your children, your grandchildren, and the, and the children to come, the generations to come. Shame on you for constantly inflicting undue pain and suffering on us. Because guess what? At the end of the day, he is watching and he is writing it down. So are you happy with yourself? Just saying. Does that make you feel good at night? pointing fingers at others, beating us down to the ground. <laughs> well, guess what? Those stones you're throwing at me, I just throw on the ground, build my bridge. Then I throw fireballs back because I've had enough. And I've said when. You know, being a tax collector as long as I was, I endured a ton of stress. I had no idea when I signed up for that profession. What I was going to endure. I was committed to a profession that I had no idea How corrupt it was. 
and I'm sickened by it. <laughs> this giant web that this tyrant regime has thrown out in professions across the globe that have stuck to their web and worship the devil, taking the Bible and twisting it to suit their sick and twisted evil, deceptive pack of lies gave me a fire in my belly to fight back. And maybe you don't want to fight back those that have done this to us, but I'll be damned if you're going to point the finger at me that I've done something wrong. You can tithe to a church. What's wrong? What is wrong with a minister that asks for donations? Nothing. Because I'm using my voice for the greater good. And what are you doing with yours? He's watching your every move, whether you believe it or not. And you know what? I'm proud of what I've done. The fact that that hallelujah chorus is played twice now, and I'm not connected up to an internet, and you can believe or not, I don't really give a damn. Speaks volumes for the power of God. And maybe one day when you wake up and you see the error of your ways, then you'll understand the magnitude of this war on good versus evil. Because I'm here fighting for you, and your family, and for the rest of your family for generations to come. That's why I took this trip on a wing and a prayer and went back to the Florida Keys on a wing and a prayer. Just because I am not conforming to man's world doesn't mean what I'm doing isn't for the greater good. It's just unfortunate, like, it's just unfortunate that everything is about money, 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 money. More, 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 more. <laughs> one of my, one of my guy friends that I reached out to, it's, it's kind of poetic justice. Just watching. waiting for me to fall. Post on Facebook about buying some crumble cookies at $4 a piece. Oh, they look, they look like they'd be quite delightful. So for $24, six cookies plus tax, and they weren't that great. Justice. Because he couldn't help up a woman in need. They'll certainly post all about going to church and all about Jesus. You think that's about Jesus when you don't help out anybody in need? I don't know. That's something you got to talk about with him. It's your choice what you do with your money. Heaven forbid for me to tell you what to do with it. But if you open up your Bible and you start reading, at what point does it say you, you watch somebody that's in need suffering? That's, that's trying to help this God-forsaken world turn around. I'm not asking for a rose garden, and I'm not asking for a million dollars. I'm just asking for a little bit of support as we spread our overflowing lamp oils and keep getting them loaded up, just like those angels at O'Reilly's today, just like those group of love loves that were in our room last night. 
That's love. You, pointing the finger, popping out like a jack-in-the-box. It's quite poetic. I just take my Bible, bam, like a whack-a-mole, whack you right back to hell. Those demons that are within you are what are causing you to point fingers at me and others that are out here making a difference and paving the way. And you can believe it or not, but when he comes, what you going to do then? What excuse are you going to use with him for your behavior towards people like me? And I'm not the only one that has been, that has dealt with your wrath. That frankly is just a bunch of nonsense. So, you know, I haven't been uploading videos because frankly, I've been so freaking exhausted. I had to wait until I was inspired by life, inspired by those angels that God keeps putting on my path. And that hallelujah chorus just fired me right up. That internal flame of the Holy Spirit is burning bright. And my advice to you is you better step aside because people like us don't have time for those of you that are so closed-minded with tunnel vision that you can't see the light, his light, and the rest of us Christians' lights amidst your darkness. So think about that the next time you want to open your trap and attack us. Be prepared for what will come right back to you. Judgment day is on its way here. That's all I can tell you. Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. My best advice is be obedient and repent because going to confession and continuing to sin is not how that Bible was written. And you can believe it or not, but I'm almost done. He is giving me that opportunity to finish what I've started. And I can't thank him enough for that. He knows how I do not like to not finish a project that I've started. Why else would I still be fighting on bonus day 104? It's not about me. It's about each and every one of you. For him. Every hit to this YouTube channel is a call to Jesus. I didn't do it for myself. I started off with praying for my Princess Aunt Harley to live, and I got nine more months. And now, it's a gift to him for everybody that tunes in. And he sees it. It's not about me, but I've left a legacy for those that don't want to accept the fact that I'm headed home. And I'm headed home quite soon. I love each and every one of you, despite those who continue to want to attack us. I have forgiven anyone that has wronged me. I'm not blaming anyone any. I'm just I'm just stating the facts. Stating what I've dealt with in my life. I'm not here to listen to your two cents worth and have it affect my health another second because I'm saying when. So before you open your trap to hurt others, perhaps you better open up your Bible and start understanding his words. 
because you start opening that Bible, get your houses in order, you will see what's going on in this world. And you certainly don't need the idiot box to tell you about it because it's filled with a pack of lies. Just saying. So that's all for now. Love to all bunches and bunches on bonus day 104. Giddy up. Let's ride. Bye.